We are back with another basketball game. Basketball Trio, which is on mobile, um, Android, Apple. I'm playing on Blue Stacks on the PC because if I'm going to game mobily, I want to do it from a non-mobile position or a stationary position, whatever the opposite of mobile is. Uh, but yeah, so this game recently came out, what is it, like a week ago, a couple of days ago, like early July. Um, I've been playing it, as y'all can see, I've been playing it off, off video, off camera for the past couple of days, just trying to kind of get an idea of it. Um, I've been on a big basketball kick lately when I haven't been playing other games, which you'll see videos on soon. Um, so yeah, so the homies have been talking about this and I've seen it and I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. I have technology to test it out. And my best, my best description of this game, if you haven't played it or you don't know what it is, it's literally FS2, but mobile, maybe with a little bit of three on three, maybe like three on threes, 3D style a little bit but uh the moves the gameplay is pretty much fs2 with maybe like one less button um and we'll go over that i'll go over some brief specifics and then i'll get into a match hopefully um when i get into the ranked match i won't play against bots because that's one thing that i've kind of learned because there, there's a bunch of these mobile basketball games which are essentially like fs2 just on mobile there's this uh three on three freestyle the mobile version um dunk fest a whole bunch of other things slam dunk which is another game that i'm actually trying to get into which i'll do a video but i got to get some settings right first um but essentially if you if you're privy to these type of games especially in the mobile world um on the other side of the world like in japan and china uh these are like a dime a dozen so this one came out here in the u.s so i'll try it out and test it uh essentially just looking at the base screen you have different parts so these are ranked unranked super brawl which i haven't played uh costume which is like where you go and buy clothes and stuff and you know you can get them from different things of course there's a battle pass other things you know so you go here with contracts and this is how you unlock new players so these are the five players that are like like if you play fs2 um your starting base characters for each position uh shooting guard or point guard shooting guard small forward center and power forward and then you have different versions which you can use different currencies to get and then you have the uh mastery version which you have to get these rare materials to unlock um from what i've seen these characters have the same stats like the only ones i've seen have different stats is this dude here like he'll get plus five to something and then minus five to something else and then if he's a power forward same thing there uh but other than that i believe all the other characters it's just cosmetic you know they have they have the same stats based on which position that you're in and then uh you know you can get these and then customize them to your liking as far as the skills go we'll go to training first so this is how you upgrade your character now the one thing i do like about this as opposed to like a fs2 or a three on three is this training level here it goes for every character so i have all five of the base characters so i have my power forward up to level 11 out of 40. my center is also 11 out of 40. My shooting guard is also 11 out of 40. So when you upgrade this, it upgrades all the other characters as well, which is really good because that doesn't mean you have to like spend these materials down here to upgrade each character individually, which I really like. And then here, if you go down the training road, these are the different skills that you unlock. So as you get up there, these are the different skills that you'll unlock to be able to use on your player. Um, some of these skills are just renamed skills from FS2. Uh, which is, you know, okay, and it's cool. And then you get different materials of that. Uh, the stats. So these are the stats here. As I said, each position has their base stats. And then, of course, you have, like, the recommended stats that you should upgrade. And then um, you can pretty much make whatever character you want. Like, if you want to put enough points into three-point shooting, which really won't make it that big of a difference unless you get cards, because there are cards in this game then uh, you can kind of customize your character to how you want them. So, you know, I put a little bit of rebounding in my power forward because I like to get rebounds and things like that. Uh, tricks, I believe these are the freestyles. You have th these I haven't bought yet. So these are just different freestyles that you can get. And then you got different celebrations after, after you score. And then you here you have the card system. So kind of like FS2, you have three cards. Um, I was going to say an offensive, defensive, and uh, just a regular one, but I think these are just random substats here. So you get mid shot plus five, stamina plus four, running plus two, and then you get two substats. And then, of course, you have like 
uh, A, B, C, D, and I think S tier is the highest card that you can, card tier that you can get. And then you have full decks that you can get as well. And then here's the card system. So you see, I've been just farming a bunch of these cards and I'm just gonna open them all up at one time once I kind of get my bearings with the game. And here are the skills. So as you level up, kind of like an FS2, uh, you get more slots to use your skills. And then of course you have the ones that you can pay for. You got the monthly card system, which you can buy to unlock extra slots and then training level 25. And these are all the skills that you'll get um, and then you can upgrade the skills. So you have this little thing here. So right now I have my box out, power block, turn around, fade away on level five. And then once I get the correct materials, I can max them out or level four, I'm sorry. And I can max them out to level five. And yeah, so this is kind of a, another thing as well where you can customize your character to do different things. Like if you wanna be a power forward, but play a more center role, you can get power rebound, which you can't get on PFs and FS2 um, and other things. And then the passive, so these are different passive skills which you can unlock. And this is just kind of what they say, they just give you certain passive attributes to your character. Right now I have a 30% chance of restoring stamina when it gets low, because you do run out of stamina fairly fast in this game if you hold down the turbo button. And then these are different ones that, you know, you can unlock or add to your character. Uh, that just knocked down when during post up. Yeah, some of these I may have to test out and then evolve so this don't if i'm wrong about this let me know in the comments below i believe with this you can evolve your character up to the next rank so i think it goes d c b a and s and then there are different materials that you can use to evolve them and they'll get different stat buffs here so this i haven't messed around too much as you can see uh, but that's pretty much the gist of your character. And then, as I said, you can do it for each character. So if you want to add certain stats, you know, I haven't used a shooting guard yet because y'all know I mainly play big man. Um, as I said, you can put real money into this. If y'all are wondering here are kind of how the the pricing goes. And this is just, you know, standard mobile game, really any game, but mainly mobile game where you pay for a certain amount of in-game currency. And then you can use that to do whatever. Uh and then here's the battle pass and you know you got the free battle pass and then the paid one so it's it's a lot as i said it's it's i would say it's a nice mixture of fs2 gameplay and skill wise then just in inside of mobile trappings and as i said i'm still fairly new to the whole mobile game market especially the free-to-play mobile game market i haven't this is like probably one of the first mobile games that i've actually took time to play for more than a day or two um so yeah so you know if you guys want to try it out there's that kind of give you an idea if you're looking for a nice little basketball itch okay yeah so see this is live people you can tell because it's like actual names that the computer would generate and they got cool ass clothes on so they spent money on the game but um essentially so far what i think of the game it's a cool game um i'm not gonna lie even though i'm not really too enthralled with fs2 right now meaning like really just wanting to play it playing this just kind of makes me want to play fs2 because even though this you know is more newer it's essentially just like fs2 just in mobile form and i honestly feel like fs2 does a better job of everything on here with the customizations now i will say the one thing i do really like is just the fact that like if you level up one character so if i get my power forward to level 40 all the other characters that i have will be level 40 as well i just got to put stats on them now i don't know if that counts for the other characters that you get i would assume so but i don't know because i just have the five base characters that you can get from the game and we're going up against a center and a power forward who is not going to be fun oh never mind they're afk <laughs> Ah, free W's. Free W's. Let me move walk on them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hit him with the double clutch. All right, that's a move I haven't seen yet. So, yeah. But, yeah, as, you, as I said, you know, it's a legit FS2 mobile version. A little bit of tweaks here and there. So, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's cool. Like, y'all let me know down below in the comments if y'all want to see more videos on this. I honestly, hold on. Oh, I jumped too early. I'm salty. Okay, we still got that. Um, see, like right there, you see where it like lagged a little bit. I can't tell if that's like internet connection or just the the mobile, like the program that I'm using. 
Yeet. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, y'all let me know if y'all want to see more videos on this. Like, I low-key wouldn't mind playing this. I don't think this would be something that I would play every day or I would, like, take seriously. Oh, my God. I am messing up my block timing. But I definitely wouldn't mind playing this maybe, like, once or twice a week. They Maybe making a video or two here or there. Especially if new characters come out. Because because the one thing I do want to do, I do want to try to get the mastery characters. Um, but for those, you got to, like, grind a lot to do it. So, I don't know. It, it depends. Like, I'm, I'm having a little bit of fun with it, but not as much as, like, oh, this will be the new game that I'll dedicate a bunch of time to a time to play i said it's okay oh thought i passed the ball my bad threes please yeah eh, eh, eh. i do like these i do like these celebrations though celebrations are really cool but yeah but overall the game is cool um i wouldn't mind putting a little bit of time into it but i don't know if i'm gonna dedicate like a bunch of time like i did with fs2 for like the past what is it going on five years now six years now since I started playing FS2 and doing FS2 videos, and why did my thing not really work? Shit, but it's cool. But y'all let me know what y'all think down below. This is a game that you think you guys see yourselves playing. It's a little bit underwhelming to you. To me, I would say that I'm pretty... Oh, I still got that. I thought I jumped too late. Um, to me, I would say that I'm pretty whelmed. Oh, I jumped late there too. Oh. They're being really gracious with the, the block timing right now for me. Um, I'm not too I'm not too overly impressed with it, but I'm not like disappointed with it either. Like I do see where if somebody's just coming into playing this type of game for the first time, where they can have some fun with it. But you know me, me personally, um, that must have, that was a freestyle shot. Uh, me personally, you know, I got to use controller, so I can't be doing all this dribbling and stuff on a phone. Okay, that was a good win. Um, I will say this is kind of like any other online basketball mobile game that you get where you can have. I've had some really horrible teammates, like who would just leave their people wide open um, and not play defense whatsoever. So yeah, but that was cool. We give all y'all likes, cause you know, we gotta be a positive community out here. Uh, but yeah, that is ba basketball trio. I was gonna say three on three freestyle. That is basketball trio. Very cool art style. I love the art style. I love the character designs. It's just the gameplay. It, it honestly feels like a slightly, it's, it's not as gimped as three on three, but it feels like a slightly gimped version of FS2 gameplay. I will say the one thing that I do love is just your your being able to like make your character whatever you want. It's not like three on three in the aspect where you just have pre-built characters with pre-built skills that can only do one thing unless you get certain cards on them. And as I said, I haven't really opened up all the card packs that I got, so I may be able to like have a three-point shooting power forward if I have godlike cards. So I may save that for another video um, if y'all are interested in seeing that. But that's going to be it for today's video. I do appreciate y'all for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, like, comment, and subscribe. It's been so long since I've done videos. So I apologize, y'all. It's your man, Mike Titan, and I'm out this piece. Go on.